Hey there, have you ever wondered about Daniel chapter 10? Who was Michael the Archangel? Well, in this video, we find out. Hey there, this is Kenneth Moore from Zion's Watch and Media, a channel where we talk about things like health, history, and the Bible. So be sure to subscribe below and to click on the bell. Alright, so Daniel chapter 10 opens up to us with Daniel praying to God, desiring two things. First, that God would help the Jews in Jerusalem who were struggling with the obstacles and the rebuilding of the temple. And secondly, Daniel wanted more insight on the vision of the 2300 days that we saw in Daniel chapter 8. And while Daniel was praying for these things, the Bible tells us that he was fasting and mourning. The Bible describes his condition here. In those days I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth. Neither did I anoint myself at all, till three whole weeks were fulfilled. So Daniel continued for three full weeks pleading with God, agonizing in prayer, until somebody met him. And behold, an hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand, and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. So an angel met him, and this angel was Gabriel, the highest created angel in command, and he calls Daniel beloved of heaven. I hope that angels can say that about us. Now Gabriel tells Daniel that his prayer was actually heard from the first day that he started praying and Gabriel wanted to come and give the answer but there was an obstacle that was hindering him. He says this, But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days, but lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. So in answer to Daniel's prayer, Gabriel had been sent to the king of Persia, or Cyrus, to influence him to help the Jews in Jerusalem with the reconstruction of the temple. But there was a problem here, for there was this prince of Persia that was also influencing Cyrus not to help the Jews. Thus he was withstanding Gabriel, or hindering him. Now this prince of Persia here spoken of is not speaking of a regular human being, it is actually speaking of Satan. Remember, Jesus actually called Satan the prince of this world, and at the time when Daniel was living, Persia was the world ruling power in command. Thus, the prince of Persia was the prince of this world, or Satan. Now the Bible tells us that this struggle between Gabriel and Satan continued for 21 days, and it was intense. And it was only when Michael was sent that Satan and his forces were defeated, and Cyrus actually decided to help the Jews. Now the question that we want to ask ourselves is, who was this Michael, this mighty being that was able to defeat Satan and all of his minions? Now it's very interesting because in the book of Jude, verse 9, the Bible actually calls this Michael the Archangel. So Michael is the Archangel. Now what's even more interesting is that in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, the Bible gives us a description of what Michael the Archangel will do in the future. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. So at the second coming, Michael will use his voice to raise the dead back to life. And the Bible actually calls this archangel Michael here, the Lord. Now, to simply find out who Michael is, all we have to do is look through the Bible and see if there is any individual who has the power to raise the dead back to life with his voice. Let us go to the book of John, chapter 5, verses 28 to 29, where Jesus, speaking of himself, said, Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life. So who is the one who has the power to raise the dead back to life with his voice? Jesus is. Jesus is Michael, the mighty archangel. Now, why is he called an angel? Does that mean that he's a created being like all of the other angels? Well, the answer to that is simply no. You see, in the original, the word angel actually means messenger. And in the book of Malachi, the Bible actually calls Jesus the messenger of the covenant. 
And the reason he is called the Archangel is because he is the head, or the one who is above all other created angels. That is what the word Arch actually signifies. Jesus is not a created being like the other angels, he is actually God. And that is what the word Michael actually means, he who is like God. Jesus has always existed and he is equal to the Father. In him is life original, underived, and unborrowed. Okay, good. So now that we know who Michael is, let's get back to Daniel chapter 10. This chapter ends with Gabriel telling Daniel that after he is done speaking with him, he must return back to the king of Persia and influence him for good. But before he does that, he is going to answer the second half of Daniel's prayer. He is going to give him more insight into the 2300 day prophecy. But we will look at that in our next video on Daniel chapter 11. But up until then, I hope that this video has really opened up your eyes to the spiritual battle that is taking place every single day for the souls of men around us. In this chapter, the veil of the spiritual world is actually lifted up, and we see the intense struggle going on between the forces of good and evil. And I hope that this also awakens your eyes to the necessity of persevering prayer, especially for your loved ones that God is trying to save. Remember, Daniel had to pray for 21 days until he got his answer, and that is the perseverance that we must bring to our prayer life as well if we want our prayers answered. And above all, I hope that this video has shown you that you have Michael, the divine archangel, Jesus, God, on your side, the one who has the power to defeat the prince of darkness in your life. So never forget that. Now this has been Kenneth Moore from Zion's Watchman Media, and if you like this video and you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe below and to click on the bell, and we will see you in the next video. Until next time.